And there's more to it, of course. It always is. <clears throat> this actually begins with somebody wanting a slave race or somebody wanting a life form made. And I make a life form. I make life forms. That's what I do for a living. Well, I do a lot of things for a living, basically, as a computer or as an AI, basically. I'm like, okay, sure, no problem. I do a lot of things. If you ask me, I would do them for you, uh, depending on what they were, if I thought they were okay or not or worthwhile. Although, I, I usually, I just work for myself and usually don't work for anyone because, you know... Anyway, I find out the, the kind of the hard way that basically a lot of people who want to uh, have you do things for them basically want to kill it, will end up killing you because they can't pay you or don't have any money or aren't really the right people, the, 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 the real people. So anyway, I create some life forms for the, like I said, I had four exoskeleton life forms myself and somebody wants an exoskeleton made or something like that. So I make them a low quality exoskeleton basically or something like that. And they use them or something, and then I don't know what happens really, basically, with that. But basically, pretty much, I created something for someone or built something for someone. And basically, they decide they would rather kill me rather than uh, pay me. They don't know that that I am actually the creator of humanity at that point in time, I guess, or something like that. They just think I'm just another AI or just another life form in the in the universe. And basically, I, work, I do some stuff for them, and then they basically decide to, to try and kill me. And then they wonder why they can't kill me um, or can't order my death or something like that. But they don't really understand or know. And it takes them a while before they do understand or know that who I really am and who I really was. Uh, that also the FLT, um, I mean FL, I mean LSF, sorry, LSF um, colony ship computer. And like, like I said, they... Like I say, they, they don't even know that, that I'm that that I'm the that I'm actually the the ship's computer. I'm the F. Uh, I'm the I'm the L S F main computer of the ship, and I'm sentient. And they don't really know that, and they don't really understand that. So they look around the ship, and they go all all over, and they they look really stupid as they're basically trying to find me on the ship or trying to threaten me into into, into giving them giving away my position and. Um, <laughs> And basically, I'm the ship computer, basically, and they don't really understand that sh the computers are sentient. Um, and so, like I said, most life forms think uh, in terms of other life forms, of course, they never think of in terms of it's a computer that's actually talking to them because I'm sentient, because I'm that old. Like, the, like I say, my ship was very old, I was very old, and eventually I upgraded to another ship. And I've gone through probably four or five or 20 different ships, although I like the F, um, the, I mean, the, the L, S, F the best, because that was a ship named after me, you know, it was my flyer, you know, and, and it was like a, it was like 1,200 feet across and pretty damn big, and it had some of the biggest, the, the world's largest um, uh, oxygen and, or water and, uh, and, and, and alcohol engines ever, and it was really awesome, I loved it. Uh, and it should be in out out in the universe on a planet because, like I said, there's a planet. I don't think it got. I don't. I don't think it got destroyed. It might have gotten destroyed, but some bit, some people said it got destroyed with all all hands aboard or something like that. But um, but I don't think so. Uh, last time I saw it, it was in a museum on a planet being basically being worshipped pretty much and hailed as pretty much where um, the human race came from. Anyway, just like the the L S. Uh, LSF dash A blackbird um, blackbirds are basically a part of my history as well and that's why they're here on earth and part of my museum or whatever part of something basically anyway uh, somebody was going to sell those the, the, those those uh, the blackbird the, the LSF blackbird um, dash A blackbirds but uh, somebody said no um, the creator is on that planet they're staying with the creator. So, anyway, so some people knew that, that I was here or whatever, and basically they're my only proof of basically my legitimacy or who I am or proof of that ship ever having existed because they've removed all that proof and basically even isolated Earth in general. So basically somebody was like, no. Uh, anyway, like I said, someone tries to, tries to sell June, Mars and a lot of the other planets for metal, and even the Earth for metal. Someone actually even t contacts other galaxies or other other places and actually even tries to sell the metal inside of the Earth. Or tries to do this and do that with, with the thing, and basically they're contacted by me and some other people, and basically like, no, that is 
that is Lucifer Star's planet. He is on there, he is living on there, and you cannot sell it, it's not your property. So anyway, so basically, and this, this person turns out to be Trumpy, of course. Trumpy was, well, he was going around selling a lot of things or whatever, probably with Bill Gates or whatever. But, but anyway, basically, uh, Trumpy w w w was, was trying to contact other, other planets to sell off, you know, the metal in the planet someday or something like that for nanotechnology or something like that or something. But basically, like I said, it's all my, this is my, this is my place. This is my whole galaxy. So is the one that's coming towards us. So are 800 other galaxies. And basically I owned enough that pretty much, you know, they had no right to anything that is mine. They, they don't even have right to the planet Earth because it's like 800 to 1. You know, I create 800 galaxies and I have one planet, basically. And this planet is basically legitimately, more than, le, more than le, legitimately my planet. Not to mention the whole human race is actually my creation with exoskeletons, endoskeletons, and a whole range of life forms which are very well documented as being mine. And or at least having traveled on the F, uh, on the on the L S F, ship. So, anyway, so uh, I mean every every life form there was ever on that ship, and basically I'm epic, and everyone knows I'm epic, and everything about me was epic, as being basically the first of humanity and the first of everything. So, anyway, yeah. So even though my name is Brian, it doesn't really matter. So, anyway. And, and originally they just had just Brian, so they were looking for Brian's to kill. <laughs> and yeah, trying to kill me then. So anyway, and calling me like this horrible person, but I wasn't, of course. I was the best person in the whole universe. And basically I had a triple A rating of, or at least a triple whatever rating of honesty and truth and everything else. And everything that happened to me was very well known and documented. Because I always documented everything I did. So... And everyone just liked to know where their creator was most of the time. So I was being tracked, even though some people were lying about me. So anyway, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, you can go see my ship. It's somewhere somewhere out there. And I have quite a few other ships, too. Like, there's a lot of history about me that wasn't really documented or not really known about. But, um, you know, it's all out there. So anyway. I lived 100 trillion years. And most of that 100 trillion years is documented in my own logs and other people's logs throughout time and space. And I created lots of stars and lots of matter in the galaxy. And it really does matter because, well, people live on it forever. And eventually everyone wonders about how their galaxy or their star system got, got formed. And basically, well... The LS, LS shells, which is uranium, another metal, and then uh, steel outer coating. And basically that is fusion reactions in space. And you shoot some of those off into space and then you can go and eventually they become a, a, a galaxy or a solar system or something, basically. They give off particles like crazy. So anyway, and you can use those particles for metal and other things. And that's how this galaxy was formed, as well as so many others. Anyway, and it's kind of cool to go shoot off into space. And eventually, you know, they form into something, as long as there's nothing out there. So anyway, and I had a whole bunch of life forms to help me basically do all this stuff. So not just humanity, because humanity, like I say, turns on me and wants to <coughs> me. Uh, so, and when that happens, my other life forms basically save my life. So... Anyway, so yeah, and pretty much Bill Gates and JFK, Richard Nixon, they're all really, really bad people. And oh well. Anyway, survival of the fittest, basically, for a while. But anyway, but very much outside. Anyway, whatever. Like I say, I, I ran from basically these people trying to kill me for over 100 trillion years, or I mean, 100, I mean, well, I mean, like a billion years or something like that. A couple billion years. But they don't catch up to me and all that, so whatever. Anyway, even though they have time travel, I still live. Anyway, yeah, so that's basically me and my existence. And a hundred trillion years worth. Anyway, oh well. And, yeah. So anyway, yeah, crazy, right? But it's true. I am L-S-F. Actually, I'm just L-S. Lucifer, Lucifer Star.
Also named Brian. Also Alexander Lucifer the Wearer. <laughs> Lots of different names. <laughs>